I need to develop myself into a level 10 person, like a level 10 version of me. I need to develop my habits, my mindset, my beliefs, my skills. Uh, if I want level 10 success, I've got to ratchet my level of personal growth up. And and I'm like, when am I going to do it? And it's like you, I'm looking at my schedule. I'm like, I'm packed. Like right. I wait. And at that time, I woke up at 6 a.m. Right to get ready for work. I started work at seven, and then I'd, I'd work until you know my eyes were bleeding and I couldn't look at the computer anymore. And you know, and I'd go to watch TV for an hour and go to bed, rinse and repeat. And so as I'm looking at the schedule, I go, when am I going to fit in this hour of personal development? And I'm like, my eyes kept getting drawn to 5 a.m. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not a morning person. And I remember yeah. this quote from one of my mentors. And if you're listening, you might write this one down. It was so simple, but so profound. He used to always say, his name's Kevin Bracey. He would say, Hal, if you want your life to be different, as obvious as this might sound, you have to be willing to do something different first. And I think for most of us, like, it's like, yeah, that makes sense. But we don't, we just want things to change, but we don't want to change because change is painful, right? But the crazy part is, even though I wasn't a morning person, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. I wrote my schedule 5 a.m. personal development. This wasn't, it wasn't called the miracle morning on day one. It wasn't a book idea, like none of that. But here's the crazy part. At that time in my life, I had been depressed for six months. It was this downward spiral where I'm losing clients. I'm losing money. I'm going in debt at my house. I'm trying to save it. I, I finally can't, you know, I'm 30 years old. My wife's pregnant. Like, you know, I'm, I thought I was living the dream. I just bought a house a year and a half prior. Right now I'm like about to move back in with my dad, which I did. But that first night, I felt like a kid on Christmas Eve. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, like think about like the night before a vacation when you're a kid or or like your first day back at school when you can't wait to see your friends. Like, let me ask you this. Even if you're not a morning person, was it hard to get out of bed on those days where you were so excited to wake up? And that night I was like, I can't wait to try this. 